Hi, welcome to Flutter Junction. Today we are going to learn how to fix API in Flutter. And before that, if you haven't uh, subscribed the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified on upcoming videos. And uh, let's see how our final applications are look. We have this uh, uh, application which are, uh, our uh, final applications are behave as follows. And we have the list of users. And when loading, we show the a simmer effect like this and we have the list of users and for that we are going to use some uh, packages one is http http is used to make the http request and simmer simmer is used so that we can design our simmer effect uh, how it is going to look and other is provider provider is for state management and i love provider because it is very easy to use and it is also it is also the most loved uh, uh, package in Flutter Dev for Flutter. And uh, we are going to use the API from rectrace.in, as you can see here. And you can find the list of APIs uh, you can use as per your need. And we have also create, read, update, delete, register, login, and you can use as per your need. And today we are going to use the API slash users this API we are going to fetch in our Flutter application and for that you need to have a project created and if you haven't created the project please uh, create, uh, pause the video and follow the link above in this video uh, to create the project in VS code right and, and moving on first we need to import our um, add our packages on the dependencies of the foxet.yaml file you need to add these dependen dependencies on the YAML file package dot uh, popset dot YAML file and if you after adding you can run pop get and you will have your uh, package installed right now let's move on to our main dot dot file yes and we delete this class we are going to create our own home base Homepage dot dot tar and it is going to be the stateful user and when you type st and control space and you have the list of options you can see here uh, we have the lots of options here and we are we are going to use the stateful widget so we are selecting Flutter stateful widget and then name our own um, classes homepage and we can need these imports import uh, material from plotter and then we return the scaffold this is scaffold the scaffold is the widget uh, that, that means it represents the screen of the application or emulator and let's keep the app bar, app bar. The text let's skip title the text text widget and then uh, let's name it similar example and close it and it is the const so let's make it const and then we import the home page in our main dot dot file import dot slash home page Start. and then our home page would be home page right now this. now when we reload it we shall have our app bar on, on the application we can see the app bar similar example and first for fetching the API we need to create the model of the API and for that we copy this response from this endpoint and then we format it and we paste in JSR formatter .com. and when we uh, click on process we shall have the formatted 
JSON and then when you copy it and then paste it in the uh, JSON uh, field and then we name our class it will be response data and then we generate tar and then we shall have model generated I follow this method because it is easy and uh, it saves the time and then we create the uh, a file named get data data dot data underscore model dot tar and we paste it here right now we create the uh, provider class here we face the API get underscore data underscore provider dot tar and let's import material pair we import this material for change notifier and we name our class and get data provider with change notifier this change notifier listens whenever our uh, notifier listener is called and then we initialize the object of response data and response response equals response data and response data and then we create the boolean value is loading with false that means our uh, our value is false and then the method get data and basic it is going to be the async function and then whenever this get data is called we set our is loading to true that means uh, data is being paged and then response data equals await get all my data where we, we create the again the future response data and then we set the is loading to false and then we notify our listener notify listener this notify is uh, listeners is responsible to notify our uh, change notifier whenever the change there is change in the value of the variable that means here as you can see it is loading true and then it is false that means uh, first it notified that is loading is true and then whenever we get the data and then our loading would be false and then future response data and get all my data and it is also the async function see and then return the response data from here and then we try try and catch exception of e and then log dot log e dot twisting that means we print our exception in our terminal and we need import the dart developer for log dart developer and we can see the error is gone now final response equals await http dot get now we need to import http also and for that Input to HTTP from HTTP is HTTP and get and get and URI dot pass now the URL would be the URL that we have shown uh, uh, before that is this 
this is the endpoint where we are getting the data let's copy this endpoint and then paste it in our uh, uri.parse and then enter and then final item equals we decode the decode the response dot body that means it converts our response to json string now new to import json that convert and then our response data would be response data dot from json of the item and then we notify our listener that means whenever we get the response from this api and we decode it the response body and then we assign the value from the from json of item and then we notify the notify listeners that means we notify the data is uh, changed in the response data right now in our home page we whenever the home page starts we fetch the data that means in the init state we uh, initialize our uh, provider uh, provider data provider equals provider dot of context import the provider and our provider is of get data provider right now and then listen to pause that means we just want to uh, listen only once from init state and then data provider dot get all my data no I'm sorry get data and we print data provider dot response data that means we are going to print our response in the terminal and then we restart it we are preload as you can see there is not any response uh, then let's not restart it first so that our application starts from the beginning we can see the error here it says could not find the correct provider get right of this home page widget that means and you have you added new prod in the that we need to import or uh, initialize our uh, provider into the mentor that file let's clean the code first and then wrap it with a widget and let's wrap it with column and then name it multi provider that means we can initialize multiple provider from here and then uh, providers text here and we need to return the provider from here before that let's keep our child that is material app and then place our provider here change notifier notify provider and then create the context and equals our get data provider import get data provider right right now we have our own setup this change notify provider it listens to the change notifier and exposes the value to its child and it reveals the dependent dependence dependence whenever the change notifier is called that means whenever the change notifier is called it the change notify provider it reverts our uh, widget it, it dependent that means the material app is again built right now whenever again 
restart or restart it. We can see we have the instance of response data. That means we have our response on the terminal from the home page. But now let's uh, place all the data in our body of the home page. Body refactory. Now our body would be uh, padding. Let's keep it padding first. Uh, before that, uh, let's view dot builder. It takes item builder, it takes context and the index, and then we return our widget. That means padding and const. Sorry, it takes the padding widget. Padding const is inserts. That's all. Let's go to padding 10. And then child. Child would be uh, card. Let's close it. And then our inside the card, uh, we have the row, row, children. And image dot network, and that would be first. Let's initialize inside the build method our provider. Let's copy this and then remove collision false. We want collision whenever our uh, data got changed, and then data provider dot response data dot data of index dot avatar that means our image it is must not be null so avatar and it also must not be null right now just give the height to the hundred and width also would be under that means our image would be in square shape and then padding child column it takes children and padding must have padding it is required inserts for all 8.0 and inside the column oh, we shall have text that means our name and text pro data provider dot response data dot data of index dot first name and then we give some spacing from size box of height and then again and then again text so the text and let's copy this it will be easier up index dot email that means we are going to show the avatar, first name and email. You can see here in our model of data, we are going to show email, first name and the avatar in the home page. And then when we again restart it, We shall have the error first. That means, and then we have our data. And 056, right? We have the error. First, we, should, we are showing the error because our data is being fetched and it finds the null value. This uh, 
response data have null value and whenever the data response data is changed and then we have our data sort right and we have this error right we have given the item count in the list view this list viewer we need to give the item count the item count would be the length of this data data dot length and then we grab two that means it takes the minimum size of the list view and when loading we want to show the similar effect right for that whenever our data provider dot is loading whenever it is loading we are going to show uh, center side circular press indicator and when, when it is not loading then we are going to show the our list view and then when we restart it again So you can see the circular progress indicator is shown and then our data is loading. Again, let's restart it. It may take some time to restart. As you can see, it is loading and then we have our data and the error is gone now. And instead of the surplus progress, uh, circular progress indicator, we are going to show the simmer effect. Let's design our simmer effect for that. Uh, let's create the file named simmer effect underscore layout dot tar. Here we are going to uh, design our simmer layout. First, let's import our material class material package from Flutter and then our simmer simmer package. Now widget. Name it loading simmer. Then simmer dot from colors. It takes some of the uh, required uh, required parameters. One is side, other is base color, another is highlight color. And let's name the base color. Our base color will be color start gray, and the highlight color will be color start gray. 400 a little, a little bit uh, dimmer than the uh, our base color let's delete this comma put the child and our child will be container and let's keep the decoration 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 border border dot all color color start gray. That means our border will be green color and then the child child would be row. We want to show same uh, effect whenever our simmer is loading that means we have the image here the text here and the other is the email right and then we have row column and in column we have two text the text children expanded size Container of height 100 and width 100 of color color start gray. And let's give text one. And then the side box width. And that means the space between the rows. And then expand it. 
column so we went and container of width 150 and height 10 the color will be color start gray and again same container let's copy this and let's decrease the height width of to 150 and then the space size box of height uh, 10 right we have our uh, simmer uh, created and then we need to call whenever our uh, data is being fetched. That means here loading simmer. And we again restart it. You can see we have the simmer loading, but it is not so good and it's because it is taking the full width and let's make it into list view list view dot builder and index and then return column of children the children will be loading sima and then the space const size box of height then and let's keep the item count here um, our item count will be let's keep the 10 and physics const no, we don't want it to be scrollable so never scrollable is called physics And the string grab to and then we again restart it. Oh, sorry, I reloaded it. What restart it? It will take some time. As you can see, we have the similar effect, and then we have the data. And we can see we have the space, uh, it is being space centered. So in our column of right in the text and let's keep the main next alignment. Next is alignment would be dot center. Main axis alignment is the uh, alignment of the uh, column. That means it, it acts the vertical alignment for column and uh, for uh, row it is uh, horizontal and cross axis alignment dot star. Uh, let's make it star. Uh, it should be center will be okay. Center and again in our similar loading also. This column we give the same parameter and then again we restart it. You can see the similar effect and we have the list of data right this much for today uh, today we learned how to fetch data in a folder uh, using similar effect and provider and if you have any queries regarding this uh, tutorial please ping me in comment section or you can also mail me at plotterjunction at the red gmail.com and uh, if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon and if you like this video please don't forget to like and comment and share it with your friends and see you in the next video thank you